This is Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. In this first clip, we've got a truck driver who's at the office waiting to get his load unloaded. And then we have another employee from this office coming out to harass the truck driver. For what reason, we don't know. Here's a clip. What kind of stuff is this? I called the whole me, day. I've been calling the whole day. Okay. What door are you at? I'll 72. Thank you. I'll bring it back. Excuse me, sir. Off my phone. You touching me? Stop touching me. Out of my Stop touching now. me. Stop touching I me. Need, you are. You touching me. See how you touching me. Leave my paper alone. Hey, 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 hey. You touching my stuff. My you see, you see this? Stop touching my stuff. Stop touching my stuff. I'm not holding you. Leave my key alone. Leave my key alone. You leave my key. Thank you. Get out. Over there. You are not professional. I need you to leave my premises. Now. Now. You are over here. I'm standing over here. will not be a moment here. Thank you. You see? I am not going to have him disrupting my whole work here. Period. I am, I I am very professional. I have never in my Guys, life done this. Come back to my window and handle your business, please. You just, you, you just touched me. You just touched me. I need to report. I need to report. No, I need to report for that. I need a report. I need a report. I need a look what you did to my paper. I don't care about the paper. I need a report, please. I need a I need a police report. Matter of fact, let me call the police because you just I think this goes without saying, but no matter how unprofessional someone's acting in a workplace, it doesn't give you a reason to put your hands on them in any way, shape, or form. Unless they do so first, then you're defending yourself, but by claiming they're being unprofessional and then trying to pull them out by grabbing them and pulling them along, you're just therefore being unprofessional yourself and you don't really win in that situation. Furthermore than that, it also gives them the ability to, well, charge you with assault if they really want to, considering they're recording it, it'd be very flipping petty, but but doesn't stop people from doing other things that are very petty. You. In this next clip, we got a Karen who's pretty unhappy with the fact that the neighbors got some blow up toys touching the, their side of the fence and decided to get mad and use a poking stick to poke holes into the inflatables. Okay. I'll move it. I'll move it. How you like that? There, now call the cops. Keep it off of my property. I have the I'm right sorry. to move it. Get it off. Wasn't touching nothing. You're a liar. I got photos of it. I got photos from up there. I got photos from right here where it's touching it. What is this logic here? So if it's touching the fence on your side, that means it's now in the other person's yard and that's not what you're allowed to do. I, I just don't get anything here. From what we can see in the video, the f inflatables are on the other side of the fence. They're not on Karen's side of the fence. It's just touching the fence and she has to have a need to get a poking stick that seems to have something sharp on the other end to poke at the inflatables and make sure to make holes. I mean, yeah, you can call the police just based upon property damage there. Like, good God. In this next clip, we've got an old man that is seemingly grumpy that there's a concrete shop at the front of his house pouring concrete into what I assume what was a pothole before. Get off me lawn, you youngins. I, I don't get it. <laughs> The truck's not on the lawn, it's just on the side of the road and clearly they're trying to fix the road of whatever damage is there. And this guy comes in with a hammer, starts banging along the truck. Like, first off, why are you doing that? That can get you in far more crap than just being upset at things. And then you just go and stomp in through the concrete. Bro, what is your problem here? In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's apparently acting like a nuisance inside of the store and now is being asked to leave but absolutely refuses to do so. Look behind you, get trust me. I have signs up all over the building. I have the recite to you service to I'll anyone. I'll wait and tell him you're the one's the problem, not me. No, He's the one crazy. In my I know what spit on you. Just report it. I'm gonna move you out. I have the option to move you. I want you to get off. I can physically move you if I want you out. No, you can't. You can't move me. 
Yeah, I'm going to give you one more opportunity. You guys hear me? The is crazy. I'm not shoving you. I'm just going to move you out of the building. You're touching my merchandise. Stop shoving me! Get out of the building. Stop shoving me! Stop shoving me! Stop shoving me! <laughs> Right here. Okay. Not me. Give me right right here. That's all I'm asking you to do is wait right here. Okay. That's it. You're not coming well, I'm going to call him and call him. You picked me up coming. and you took me out. I did. Yes. I asked him. And I'm going to tell him that. I asked the officer Good. already. No, you cannot touch me. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. It's assault. No, you cannot go inside there. It's assault. You're not coming inside. Here he is, right here. Here's the officer. Good. Hey, Spencer. Go ahead. Hey, Spencer. Yeah, this I friend got over here spit in my face. I never well, spit in your face. Went, I have his photo. This photo. lady came in and just started going crazy no, on this guy. He kicked came me in the gym, started cussing at all of it. No, all the I did not. That's wrong. We asked her to move. She would not I leave. I did not cuss. I called you. I did not all cuss. All I did was pick her up by her body, and I moved her outside. I he assaulted her. me. I did not assault her. He either. pushed me. Do you have someone coming down here, dude? Sure. Yeah, I've got a guy coming over here. Thank Good. you. Good. Right. Hey, John, could you come down here, too? Yes. I absolutely love how you can le hear the laughter of the police guy in the background off of the phone just by the entire situation. He's just like, <laughs> just off of the phone. It's hilarious. I don't know. I don't get why people act like children like this sometimes. It really never makes any sense to me. I understand some people are just so entitled to get what they want that when they're told no, they just act childish until they get what they want. But it just, it just drives me insane how we have people like this in this day and age. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's an Uber passenger and has an absolute need to complain about any anything that occurs in that entire drive. Can you uh, do me a favor? Can you move the seat forward? Because it's it's hitting my knees at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hold on. It's very uncomfortable. Is that better? Sorry about that. Well, there's no point in saying sorry. It was already, you know, it was already pushing on my knees. But that's what most of you Uber drivers do anyway. I'm not trying to come off rude, but... I, can you hold on? I didn't even put my seatbelt on. This, this right here is loose. This, this almost poked me. All right. Are you familiar with this area, sir? Yes, I am. It's too hot in here. Can can I lower this window or something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You like it really hot in here, man. It's like I'm in a the Amazon. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You're not hot. You know your seatbelt is really tight around my neck. It, it, it really is tight. Has anybody uh, else complained about this? No, no, ma'am. No, they Cats! Huh? Well, well, then take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. You showed up late. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make you as comfortable as possible here. Well, you're doing a bad job at it. Let me. Tell you. Are you giving me an attitude, sir? No, ma'am, I'm not. All I have to do is report you to Uber, and so be it. You will be kicked off of this this app. Okay? This freaking seat is leaning on my knee. You have to have consideration for passengers when they get in your car. I want another Uber driver. Cause all you're doing is running that lip of yours, and don't nobody want to hear what you got to say. Over there in the parking spot, I'm not gonna get out in the middle here. Right. God. I think this Karen completely forgets that uh, one bad rating on an Uber driver isn't going to get them immediately kicked off of that, as well as Uber drivers have the ability to rate their passengers, so I have a funny feeling that it's more likely she's going to get kicked off if she continues to act like this in front of other Uber drivers. I get the seat probably should have been moved mostly forward initially, but it's something that may happen, depending on if people were in the passenger seat beforehand. But the complaint about the seatbelt, you have the ability to slightly adjust it, it's meant to be tight for Christ's sakes, like good God. In this next clip, we probably have the case of why old people shouldn't still be driving cars, and if they are, they should be retested quite often. It was Were you the one was it the that the cops here oh, fail? It was, it was probably the dog driving. Shut up, you asshole. <laughs> Shut up, you asshole. Did you just get away? You're laughing, aren't you? All right. I'm so lucky. You hit them. Yeah, say hi. Nine one one, please. Nine one one. All right, guys. Yeah, listen. If they need, you I basically pulled off. No, no, you don't. <laughs> 
I'm truly curious on what actually happened in this situation on like how this crash occurred because my god that car looks like it was completely squished like wow <laughs> anyway that's it for this episode of completely stupid if you enjoy make sure to like button down below and also subscribe for you really want to be highly appreciate anyways i'll see you guys in a few days bye